Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are safe in the world here, one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2025 Brinkley Model Z Air 310. It's an awesome, massive rear living room travel trailer with a bed slide up front weighing around 11,000 pounds. This is that endless salad at the Olive Garden, baby. And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brennan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Brennan? What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel mm -hmm. in the world. Please don't look that up. Micah, I think you're just showing off at this mm -hmm. point. This is a beautiful model we're about to show you, everybody. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd appreciate it. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, even Pinterest, blowing it up. Check us out there. Enjoy this, Brinkley. Yeah, Brinkley. Maybe you could leave some for the other guys. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, we got ourselves a front power jack, yes. But this is actually um, uh, like a leveling system in through here. It's a 5.3, so we can control our jacks and stuff like that right from this space here. We do have a manual override for this front jack too. And then we have our propane tanks hidden in through here. Um, just really secure in through there. Are those... No, they're 30s. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing maybe for a second, yeah. but they are 30 pound per paint tanks. Um, then we're gonna have our battery box location in on the sides here. Again, keeping those nice and secure. You can put a whole lot of batteries in through there if you want. Molded front fiberglass cap that's painted black. I love these L-shape uh, LED lights in through here. They have a nice shield. So it's not just like, uh, you know, those individual LEDs. I like how that just shines through that, sil that, that uh, plastic piece. And then nice lights on either side. Of course, we got the raised lettering here on the, uh, uh, like for the Brinkley logos. We've got a drop frame up front, which gives us great height in our pass through storage. This material on the floor itself is very, very durable. So you can throw your hitch in through there. Um, nice little bay in through here that's all sealed up and watertight. So if you have something dripping off the city water connection, it's not gonna you know, fill up your pass through storage. We've got our hose build in through here. That's 50 foot of hose. City water connection, fresh water fill, black water flush kit. You can winterize, sanitize, do all that kind of fun stuff from here. Outside shower, and then yes, we still have the electric gate valves on this guy. Outside receptacle and a motion sense of light in through there. And then here's our bed slide. Our bed slide pulls our bed off the floor. We have some additional storage in through here. These are all uh, metal slam latches, so they're not the cheaper plastic ones, so they just slam down nice and easy. On-demand fury on water heater, sewer hose carrier in through there, 16 inch tires, black rims, which just look fantastic. 50 amp detachable style cord, furnace vent, and then uh, the road armor suspension on this guy. These are the Ventra trailer TH31s, ABS brakes built in. Our leveling is here at the back as well. Notice it's not like the boom style one. It's like the actual straight up and down like fifth wheel landing gear leg. And then as we come around the back side here, uh, we've got this additional piece of storage here within the frame rails. You know, I was thinking when they came out with the travel trailers, I thought they're gonna get rid of this, but no, we still got it in through here. There's a motion sense of light and a receptacle in through there too. Class three receiver, four way wiring, roof ladder. Check out this ladder though. It's a steel ladder, it's not like that plastic one. We're sliding up onto the roof nice and easy. We've got a, a, a backup camera on this guy. And I'm looking at this roof here. It's a one piece, which is just how I look at my grandmother's bathing suits. And then coming back down, you see that ladder doesn't flex at all? Not at all, it's solid. And I'm a heavy guy. Oh. <laughs> Maxing it out almost. Yeah. Just kidding. You got a total uh, max of 300 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right, we do have uh, electric awnings here on the door side, uh, square style windows, of course, door side windows facing our campsite, LED lights in our secondary awning. And then we got this awesome safety rail here by Moorride. It feels like you can almost pull the trailer over with this. Yeah, right, 11,000 pounds. I told you I'm a big guy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Four step entrance up and in, getting you into the model. And then we do have the screen defender, the screen shot, and the nice handy uh, latch in through there. There's also a blind built into the window, too. I love these lettering here, Brennan. And then our main awning is in through here, big window in the bedroom, the other side of our pass through. We've got our controls for outside speakers here, another outside receptacle, battery disconnect, and a storage mode disconnect. Outside shower here for whatever reason, dimmable lights in our pass-through. Right? What do you mean, whatever reason? Bottom, it's, they do it so that if you want to set up your own outside kitchen. 
That's their. That's what they said. Yeah, well, and I agree with them. But yeah. I, how about the fact we have dimmable lights in our pass-through? Perfect. That's so, like, <laughs> over the top. I love yeah. it, right? <laughs> now, sliding here into the model, the slides are still closed. We're not going to be able to get to our fridge. Right, that's blocked off, but we can easily get to our bathroom and to our bedroom, all with the slide outs closed. Let's get this guy opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that Brinkley Model Z Air 310, and this is, this is my favorite travel trailer they've made. Oh, agreed. Over the over the uh, the eye. I like this floor plan better. Yeah. Eh? Okay. Yep. Yeah. I uh, I'm just second guessing myself now, but um, <laughs> this is this is just a great model. Like it just feels massive. This I is live something, in this. Yeah, people can live in this for sure. There's all kinds of space. Uh, we've got our theater seats here. They're across from the uh, the TV, of course. There's a mobile charger in through here. We got ourselves. Uh, heat on and off and then we have a USB in each side of the uh, seat nice little remote storage in through there We even got USBs built into there Brandon um, square style windows <clears throat> Even that was soft close <laughs> Yeah um, I don't want to just blow by these windows because these are the best windows in the business, right? So square style windows blind that's built right into the frame of the window. We've also got a day shade and We've got a screen in through here. These windows crank out and they, uh, they're they not like a split style window, so they open up all the way. We got great ventilation on these windows. The way they finish off around these windows is just fantastic. You'll see there's no nail holes. Everything's super nice and clean in through here. And then we've got four big windows out in that slide facing our campsite. And then three windows here out the back facing the back of the trailer. We've got this great storage here uh, beside the couch. All right, pop-up piece here at the back for receptacle and USB and HB, uh, USB-C. And then a shelf here on either side of the uh, couch as well. This couch is going to turn into a large secondary bed just in case you need to do that. And then we got cover space here all the way across the top. Soft closed doors in through there. And then, you know, the couch itself is great. We got the ottoman. Uh, there's a couple ways you can use the ottoman. A lot of people are just going to use it here in front of the couch. We can set that up as like a little desk area. We got great storage in that ottoman. And this just moves around nice and easy. You get the felt pads on the bottom and through there. Um, gotta get those on the uh, kitchen table at home, Brent. Um, and then here, we have our fireplace facing the theater seats. We've got our pop-up TV. Switch for that is right through here. This thing's rising up just like Josh Groban. We got ourselves a pop-down piece here. Controls again for our Bluetooth speakers. There's a receptacle in through there too. A window here in behind that pop-up TV. So if you're not using the TV, you still got the viewing in through there. Even if your site, the view's on that side, you got two big windows in through here. Cupboard, cupboard. And then we got great cupboard space here on either side of the microwave. <clears throat> Oversized microwave there. Kitchen window, glass stove top cover. Deeper oven with a three burner stove top. Three drawers down the left hand side. Deeper one here at the bottom. Pot and pan drawer here. And then another drawer here with another cupboard there. Now, this is a 16 cubic foot 12 volt fridge running off the battery. Battery being charged off the 370 watt solar panel on the roof. So that's working great in conjunction with each other. That's an awesome fridge. And then these guys always nail it with these pantries, Brandon. Look at that. Adjustable shelves in through there. You got a receptacle. You can park like a Keurig in through there. There's all kinds of storage options. Shelf, counter, receptacle, double drawers. Cupboard space in there. And then more cover space here across the top. Now, as we look at the island, I love how they centered the sink. So we have counter space on both sides of the sink. So it's easy to do dishes. Boom style brushed gold uh, faucet in through there. Garbage can location. Uh -huh. Amazing. Ooh. What's that? No, it's just the, the doggy dishes. Yep, they're in through there, just for storage. We got the paper towel holder, a shelf in through here, like a little side drawer. Look at how well these drawers are done, Brennan. Tight, 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 tight. And then we've got more cupboard space here. 
three more drawers over in through here. This does have two ACs, and they're both the chill pill ACs, uh, which you know are extremely efficient, extremely uh, uh, well. They're just really, really, really efficient, right? They don't draw too much power, but they put out a ton of output. And that's a remove a movable uh, thermostat, so you can just bring it to the bedroom, bring it to the bathroom, whatever you want there. Um, yeah. Now let's talk about this dinette space B. Let's do it. All right, man. Uh, so these chairs are, are, of course, movable. So a lot of people uh, might just eat just like this. Some people, though, might want to sit beside each other. Right? So then you can set the table up like that. Some people might want to pull the table out. For a massive table, some people might want to have it slid to the side, have it pulled out as well. Either side, turn it into a desk. Just a great, flexible, usable space. How easy was that for me to use? Unreal. All right, brother. Feel good about the living space, bud? I do. All it's right. beautiful. It is beautiful. Then as we slide here into the bathroom, we got these hooks as you come in the door. Porcelain style toilet in through here. Dump truck fits. Cupboard there. Three drawers down the right hand side shelf there that's accessible from the bedroom as well. Now, I don't believe this is a medicine cabinet. No, this is the LED lights in through here. And then across from that, we got more hooks. We got a shelf, a fantastic fan in through here. Up into the shower, I'm six feet tall. I like this shower head. I like the body sprayer, the hand wand, spot there for soaps, LED light here in the washroom, glass shower doors, a seat I can sit down and shave my legs. And then heading into the bedroom now, we got a king size bed out in the slide. You can option in a queen if you want. Uh, windows on both sides of that bed. Nice looking lights in through there too. Shelf there. USB, USB-Cs, shelf in through here too. And then behind me, we just got the cleanest looking front closet I've ever seen. Oh, unbelievable. Like it's just, it's not like it's a bunch of scattered doors. It's just nice and clean in through there. Perfectly symmetrical. All right, there's two shelves built in. Well, let me get around here so I can get that light switch. Must be missing that. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then drawers here along the bottom. Storage underneath the bed. Okay. And then, <clears throat> stiff props. I think those are awesome. <laughs> they are awesome. So this half over here, we have access to the bathroom, but these four here are just for the bedroom. We've also got some drawers in through here. Talk about storage in the bedroom. And then we got seven drawers in our dresser, just like Snow White. All right. Sliding tray, drawers, sideways blind. Door side window in our bedroom. TV across from the bed. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.